Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Power Toys, just to let you know that we have a version upgrade. Version 0.84, which rolled out a couple of hours ago. Now this is quite an interesting update because it contains a new workspaces feature that I posted on around about the middle of August that lets you organize your Windows desktop and I'm going to focus on that feature update um, for this video. But um, just to let you know that there are also other plenty, there are also plenty of other changes, add-ons, fixes that can be found in version 84. With advanced paste, getting new custom actions, a screen ruler, gaining multiple measurements, tools, and so on. But for this video, I'm focusing on the new workspaces feature, which is this utility. That is a quick and easy way to launch a set of apps to custom positions and configurations with one click according to Microsoft. Now the default settings for this feature basically take care of most of the work. So um, if you are a little bit intimidated with this, I think the default settings for a lot of users will be quite fine. But there are a couple of extra deep dive options if you want to go a little bit further into the settings. Now Microsoft has said this, that uh, basically, um, the app arrangements can be saved as a workspace and then relaunched with one click from the workspaces editor or from a desktop shortcut. And I've already created a workspace one desktop shortcut. But just to show you how this will all work in practicality and in practical terms. So if we just head to our dashboard, if you have the tool enabled, uh, you can see the launch editor from this position. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to head over to um, Notepad, just open up two simple apps and minimize those and then I'm going to open up Paint and I want to create a workspace out of Paint and Notepad just as, a, as an example. Okay so what you do to get this all working is you got the keyboard shortcut but I'm just going to launch it from the actual editor and that'll open up the workspaces editor. Okay. And here you can see I have already created a workspace which features Power Toys, Brave, and Chrome. So if I launch that, it'll open up those three apps. Now I want to create a new workspace. So edit your layout and click capture when finished. Okay. So capture. And here you're going to see something interesting. So it's picking up all the apps I have opened, be that front facing or minimized okay so i've already got power toys in my first workspace i'm going to remove that i've got google chrome i'm going to remove that and then i've got my screen recorder i'm going to remove that now the only thing i want in my workspace is notepad and paint so i'm going to save that workspace because i just want notepad and paint opening and i'm also wanted to create a desktop shortcut for easy access and reference reference just to give you an example for the purpose of this video so you save workspace and there you go so i've got workspace one which i, uh, I launched eight minutes ago before posting to test and yeah i've got workspace two and just on a side note you can also edit that and you can remove the actual workspace from the workspaces editor so just to show you how this will all work I'm going to go back to my desktop and yeah I've got my workspace 2 shortcut. Remember now I want to launch Notepad and Paint. So let's close those apps and here you'll see if I tick, click, click on that shortcut there it launches it launches Notepad and it launches Paint and I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction. Uh, very similar to what we get over in Microsoft Edge with the workspaces in the Edge browser. So this is just a brief overview. Obviously you can fiddle with this to your heart's content and there are a lot more options but something else I just want to bring your attention to is if we head to my workspace 2 and I click on edit, if we, have a, if we click on this drop down as an example for Notepad, you can see some other options here. So I'm just going to mention these. In the editor, Microsoft says app configuration can be customized using CLR arguments and launch as admin modifiers and app window sizes and positions can be updated as desired. So 
You can see with Notepad, I told it to be launched minimized, but you can launch that as admin. You can launch that as maximized. So you get the idea. You can just fiddle around with this. And then you can also change the actual size of each of the, the, the left top width and height of the actual window that's launched for that particular app. So as mentioned, you can fiddle around with this, but I'm just giving you a brief overview. So there we go. You get the idea. That's Power Toys version 0 0.84, which is now the latest release. And Power Toys, in case you're unaware, is available for both Windows 10 and 11 and can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.